Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck. And after somewhat of a delay, I have, by your choice, the fans' choice, my next Transformers 1 review. This is the Optimus Prime 4-in-1 uh, Power Flip uh, Optimus Prime. So it's like the Power Flip Changer. It goes from truck to Orion Pax to Optimus Prime to op Ultimate Optimus Prime. So this is basically the big gimmick toy thus far of the line. And let me tell you, it's pretty sweet. I dig it. Um, now, I got this figure from Entertainment Earth, but it's available at Amazon, um, Entertainment Earth, uh, the various Amazon stores, Walmart, Target. But here's the kicker. Right now, this week, the week of, uh, what is this, like the 7th or something, op, uh, Target is having a sale on Transformers. So you can pick this guy up online or in store and get a little bit of a discount um so we're starting off in vehicle mode and i'm going to show it take you through the various steps now right now as you can see i've had to have my camera pulled back because the figure even just in uh orion packs optimus prime form does get a little big uh but when it comes to the ultimate form I'm going to have to actually go to a uh, first-person perspective, you know, you see me, because um, there just isn't enough space in the box here to safely flip the uh, figure around. And to be honest, I don't want to take the chance of smacking myself in the face or smacking my camera. So, truck mode, this is basically that Cybertronian truck mode we've seen from uh, the movie. Uh yeah, you should you should know it by now. Um, kind of, it, it's it's nice. By the time this movie cycle is over, we're going to be tired of it. Um, the transfer, I mean, the, the vehicle mode is solid. Unfortunately, you do have the exposed robot hands, but as a simplified gimmick toy, that's kind of understandable. The accessories are storable in vehicle mode. You have the sword here on the side, axe in the middle. Uh, and this top part becomes the shield. And, and again, you know, everything pegs together nicely, which is usually the case with these uh, gimmick formers. They might be limited in articulation, and this figure is, but the transformation is solid. You, you get, you know, a solid robot mode and a solid vehicle mode. Now, to start off, we're going to go into the Orion Pax mode. So the first thing you want to do is remove the sword here on the side. And now this next step you can do I guess closer to the when you finish the robot mode, what have you, or you can do it right now. Just come in here and you're going to remove this top part, which will reveal Orion Pax's head. Unfortunately, the only way to, for the head to hide in robot uh, vehicle mode is by being covered by that. We'll get more into this piece a little bit later. It is kind of cool. Next, what you want to do is come along the sides. Now, the arms and shoulders peg in at three points. Here at the forearm, right here at the lower part of the shoulder. And then there's, as we're going to have to untab it here, there's a tab here and a slot in that gray hinge. So we're just going to unpeg, just, if you lift, just lift from any point, it'll detach everything. The most secure connection is right here with that uh, shoulder bit into the hip right there. So just lift that up to get that out of the way. Oh, <clears throat> you know what? I am going to put everything back real quick because I did actually commit a little bit of a review faux pas here. Uh, and not, I'm not putting the sword back on because I don't think that's important for this. I forgot there are lights and sounds. So basically what you want to do is press the front here, that, e that yellow bit, and... <laughs> okay, so there's really well, so there's only two sounds, but there's that third one. That's four. So, you get the idea. So, 
Now, now those are sounds that are strictly for the vehicle mode, by the way. So back to where we were, we're now going to bring the legs down. And the reason I, I remembered about the lights and sounds is as soon as I bring this, the hip section here, and, and when I do this here, it's going to trigger the transformation sound. And now when going back to vehicle mode, if you detach that, and which is cut, you get the going to vehicle mode sound. So now one thing I'm gonna mention is the instructions show you pegging the legs as one of the last steps. I say it should be one of the first. Um, so we're gonna be holding off on that. But now we're gonna to come to the arms real quick and we're gonna flip the shoulders around. There's some uh, tabbed hinge, uh, like a tab teeth right there that's gonna snap into that gray section. And then that gray section using the tab right there will go into the hole right there. Now be careful because on occasion, you can actually trigger the uh, ultimate mode. Rotate the arm down and rotate the forearm so that the fist is facing towards you. And then wrote the, rotate the smokestack. Oh, actually, no. Do not rotate the smokestack around. My mistake. Let's do that again on this side. And then bring it up like that. Bring it down. Rotate. And now you can unpeg the there's a little bit of an armpit joint and if you notice there's some detail there and i accidentally hit the sound but now what we're going to do is come around the back here split the legs remove the axe rotate them around at the hip joint right there the little thigh cut excuse me thigh cut and without further ado here's orion pax in its robot mode and yeah, let me see if I can. So this is this is a big beefy boy. Uh, you know, and, and let me tell you that th this is a stocky little lad right here. But unfortunately, there is no uh, knee articulation. There's knee joints molded in, but there's no knee articulation. Okay, in case you're wondering, I just made a very sudden little camera adjustment here so we can get a better look at the head that is the orion pax head and of course if there was sound now really that should be the first one you hear when you get into uh robot mode now the back section here there are little there are these very slight nubbins where my thumb and finger are. That will slide in there. And you can store the axe. And you can store the sword on the back here. So there is weapon storage right there. You can store the whole all the accessories. Now, according to the instructions, Orion Pax has the sword as its a uh, weapon here so you can put it right there in the hand and he can and you know there is there is actually some nice uh articulation you do have forward arm movement i would definitely recommend holding that gray piece in place when you're moving it and you actually even have wrist articulation now a lot of that has to do and a bicep swivel and a lot of that has to do with how the uh uh, axe comes into play. So there is that. But the big thing is you can actually even swivel the head. So there you go. You have Orion Pax uh, up in its robot mode. So kind of cool. Now, from this mode, we can transform into Optimus Prime. And you can do the Optimus Prime transformation to and from Orion Pax uh, with the back section here attached. And heck, we can even do it with the weapons pegged on. First thing you want to do is rotate the smokestacks around. Make sure the head is straight. Um, 
grab this chest section, bring it down on a double hinge. Uh, huh. It should just. <clears throat> what the heck? To just come down. Greetings. I am Orion Max. Yeah, we know who you are. Um, I think that I think that should. I mean, that chest piece should come down more. Uh, one second, as I possibly consult. Um, Yes, it's it was like a not well, you know, that's up. Yeah, maybe that's it right there. That that's as far as down as it goes. Well, that's I thought it came down more. Well, that's kind of a yep. But then what you want to do is uh um well you know what? Oh, it was down for Orion Pax. What you want to do now is pull this up at the uh, weight club. And there you go. There's Optimus. Boy, we're down here. Press that. That'll snap the chest up. I had it a little backwards there. It's down for Orion Pax, up for Optimus Prime. But here you can see we're in Optimus Prime mode. And that will change the sounds. And I believe that's the cog right there. So you have different phrases combined with different sound. And re really, that should be the first thing you hear. Now, to do the acts, they kind of sh they show you on the box and in the instructions doing it on this hand. Well, that was embarrassing. Yeah, that that by the way that happens that happens a lot. Uh, you you move the hand, you move the arms. Uh, that is going to happen. What I now what I was going to say is. Rotate the fist so it's sideways with the back of the hand facing up, and then slide the axe in. The blade is actually painted on both sides of the, uh, right there. And yeah, so now you have, this is Optimus Prime. So... Again, you have forward and back leg articulation, lateral leg articulation, but again, no knees. That's just how it is. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to reset back down to Orion Pax. Um, and uh, first thing you want to do is, again, Rotate the smokestacks down. There, there's a friction when they're up, and there's a friction stop when they're down. Uh, bring the chest plate down. This will kind of this will lock into place, and then press down on the pull down on the arms, and that will flip the head back and bring the Orion Pax head back into play. Now, at this point, we are now going to return back to optimus prime mode real quick because the final step will be the ultimate optimus prime transformation so let's go ahead get them back up like this and now what's going to have to happen is i am going to jump to a different uh, camera position to show you the flip change gimmick Obviously, we've already seen because it's a little bit of a hair trigger. But one thing I will tell you is you're going to have to remove this backpack. And you know what? One thing else we can do on camera right now? Extend the legs. Because this boy is about to get big. So even with the ex leg extension, 
you can see really they did mold in knee joints, but they're just not there. So yeah, we will pause right now and get into the ultimate Optimus Prime transformation. Okay, everyone. So basically, here's the figure. We've got the legs extended. What you want to do now is extend the shoulders out. Uh, there's a nub right here that will kind of soft tab into place. If you're doing this facing you, which I would not recommend, uh, you kind of want like the, the bottom legs, you want to like rotate it so it's flipping this way. So now we're going to twist and there we go. There's the uh, larger helmet came springing out, and uh, you have the chest plate now. There's some new sounds. And he mentions the matrix of leadership because underneath the chest plate is a removable matrix of leadership that the figure can actually hold in grooves in its hand. I'm not going to take it off right now just because I'm afraid of dropping it, but different power up sounds. Different voices. I want to say there's one other uh, bit that where he says Ultimate Optimus Prime. I'm not going to. Oh, that's about it. So now, in terms of weapons, uh, does have the shield, the sword. And again, you can use any of the weapons. And now the back piece, which again, once it's in ultimate mode, can be stored on the back. There's a post right there that will go into the forearm. And here you have uh, Prime powered up. And if you would like, you can even store the axe on the shield so you still have that total oh, weapon store. And real quick, since I just hit the, the button again, there's the panel you remove to replace the batteries. Or take them out if certain individuals are driving you nuts. But this is cool. Uh, unfortunately, you lose the head articulation. The Optimus Prime, the smaller Optimus Prime head could articulate. Um, and yeah, I like the light up chest. It's, it's, it's a cool looking figure. You got a lot going on. Now, to reset, hold these fins in just like so. You'll get the transformation sound. Fold it along the back here. And you'll notice that when you secure it here in the back, the arms will lock like uh, the, the hinges reset. And like I said, there's the Optimus Prime head can turn. Now, real quick, if you really don't want to flip this around, if you just jiggle those uh, gray bits a little. Okay, oh, you're not going to do this now? You can trigger the uh, flip out transformation. If you're limited in space and don't or don't want to smack yourself in the face like I did in the past with those Asia of Extinction flip changers. So there is that. So, yeah, that's really, I think, all that can be said about the figure. Um, I actually thought the flipping gimmick was going to be a little bit more involved. But um, what we'll do now is we'll pause, and I'll come back and give you my final thoughts. So really, all I can say more about this is that this is a gimmick toy. We knew what we were getting when it was first released. Um, I think it's fun. I think people would enjoy it. Obviously, it's not meant for collectors. But, <laughs> you know, of all the Optimus Prime or Ryan Pax figures I handled, one thing I can say, including this one, way better than the Studio Series. 
Well, that's going to upset some people. Um, now, one thing I will say is comparing this to the, what is it, the Energon Glow Optimus Prime, the Walmart exclusive one that we took a look at uh, about a week ago or so. Um, I got to say, for $10 less, I mean, you're missing out on the sword and shield, but you get the axe and you get a little more articulation. So I think that might be a bit more of an enjoyable figure overall in terms of play value, in, in, in terms of interactive play. This, I would say, is better in terms of gimmick play. Now, obviously, we're not going to see Optimus Prime looking like this in the film, at least I'm fairly certain. Usually, the gimmick toys do not represent how the character is going to look. But I have to say, um, it is kind of cool. Would it have been nice to include knee joints? Yeah, but I can understand why they didn't, seeing as how the legs slide on that track. And let me just say, bending them up backwards for the uh, vehicle mode, that can get a little annoying. Uh, I, I mean, if there was knees involved. So there is that. But yeah, that's about it. And allow me to mention one more time that as the week of this recording, Target is having a sale on Transformers where you can get this guy, which is about $40, $45. You can get it on sale. So if you have a red card, it's even cheaper. So there's that. Um, But I give it a thumbs up. So if you like this review, like, comment, and subscribe. I always appreciate the views, but the likes, comments, and subscriptions help to communicate to YouTube through the algorithm that my channel should be exalted and held upon high. I want to make the ultimate sign of support. I do have a Patreon. It's www.patreon.com slash truckdog1999. All I ask for is a dollar a month, $12 a year. No, none of those thrills or tears or, you know, special mentions. You're not going to see your name at the end of the video. All you're doing is give, helping me help you keep uh, bring figures like this to you, as well as keeping up the infrastructure of the panel. Do tripods, some lights, maybe a couple different backdrops, stuff like that. But as I always say, and I really want to stress this to you. Um, can't afford the dollar a month or $12 a year, because I do know that does add up. Your views are more than thanks enough. But I also want to make a special push for to, and a special mention to those of you who are not subscribed. Between 81 to 88 percent of my views come from viewers who are not subscribed. If you're not subscribed, you miss out on stuff like community posts, um, various other reviews that I do. Um, well, there's always that chance, but really, um, it, it screws up the algorithm in terms of having my channel promoted. So it'd be very helpful to me if you could take the time uh, to um, subscribe and just support the channel that way. This usually does happen during a movie cycle or that first wave of a new toy line where I got a lot of uh, casual viewers popping in. Stick around. You might enjoy something. But that's about it. Once again, thank you so much for watching. We're about almost done with uh, most of the Wave 1 and some Wave 2 uh, Transformer 1 figures. I'm sure you guys can figure out what's left. So, for Power Flip Optimus Prime, we will see you next time.